I used to work with this guy who was an electrical engineer, very smart guy, and he was actually running a business in is in his home country. He was providing security and electrical installations services and he was charging a lot of money what he would do is he would buy equipment here from amazon he would go to his country and charge a lot of money to install camera security systems oh man he was making bank he was making bank so should you open a business as an engineer is that the right question though or is the question should you build multiple streams of income as an engineer it doesn't have to be a business. Maybe that's something that you've considered, you thought about in the past. Throughout my whole career, I definitely run into many engineers who have things going on the side. They do not just rely on one source of income, which is something that I hope you guys build going forward. Once you graduate from engineering school and you transition into the workforce, I hope that once you're there, you don't just stop there because who knows what could happen if somebody just cuts your only stream of income and you can find yourself in a bottomless pit maybe you have a family business maybe uh, you want to open partner up with a couple of friends on a startup and you want to do your own thing that's great i love the energy i love where you're going i love where your mind is going and in this video i'm going to give you some examples on what business ideas you can come up with i run into engineers that provide computer aided design work or manufacturing a product. Some engineers were providing consultant services. Some other engineers were working on websites, app developments. Also, there were also a couple of other engineers that were inventors. They wanted to come up with something new. And so every time they would come up with something new, they would look into the market. So actually, I met one guy that actually patented something. I can't remember what it was, but he actually did work with a team and patented something that I'm not sure if he's getting any royalty, but hey, that's a start. And actually, there was a guy that I used to work with a couple of years ago who one day, I remember, we were kind of walking towards a meeting and we were just kind of like going back and forth talking. And I asked him, you know, like you seem like a very smart guy who likes to think of new inventions and business ideas. And do you, do you ever think about that? Because I myself had those ideas in the back of my mind. And then he looked at me and said, do, do it every day. A couple of months later, he actually quit his job he left the company and he started working and focusing on his Amazon business. Amazing story, right? I was like, wow, this guy, I knew he was going to go somewhere, man. Like you could, you can tell some people are just have that drive and then they don't stop until they get there. So if that's you, then that's amazing. If you have a vision for yourself, if you have a goal, then don't stop until you get there, until you make your vision a reality. Just put the blinders on straight ahead. And then also I met another guy. I want to say about two years ago, who was into real estate. He was into flipping houses. Another guy was into renting houses. So the bottom line here, guys, is that engineers having side hustles or side businesses is very, very common. So the chances of you leveraging your wisdom, leveraging your experience may be very beneficial and lucrative. Who knows? For your personal life. Hey, quick break here. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate your support. If you're enjoying this video and you're getting value, please make sure that you smash the like button. It really does help out the channel and also subscribe. All right, let's keep watching the video. So there's a couple of ideas that I have here that I wanna share with you guys. And the first one is going to be consulting, leveraging your experience. But again, do not infringe on patents or intellectual property from companies. Be very careful with that. As I mentioned in my previous video on how you should avoid getting sued by a company. Another thing is work on your hobbies. Like what are your interests? Can you monetize your interests? Maybe you like to play the guitar. Maybe you can be a tutor. Maybe you can give guitar lessons. Nowadays, it's crazy with TikTok and we have so much social media now that you can get your name out there. The other thing is, what is a skill that you develop that others can use? Like maybe website development, application development, computer-aided design work. Maybe you can model certain things for some engineering companies. Maybe even working with other professional engineers, other PEs. Recently, uh, a couple of months ago, I talked to a civil engineer who was providing side work for various professional engineers so that's something that you can do something that you can work that you can work on finding clients for that also think about non-engineering things like it, it doesn't have to be engineering related if you want to come up with a business or a side hustle think outside the box think real estate maybe investing trading 
As I mentioned, there were other engineers that I met that were into real estate, that were into investing. And maybe even one guy was even day trading. <laughs> day trading at work. Imagine that one. <laughs> also, pay attention to what others are doing, guys. Maybe you are thinking of something that bothers you. What are you complaining? What do you hear people complaining about in your company or the company, whatever it is that, where you're working? Like once you join a company, start paying attention to what people are complaining about. Maybe there's a process that you yourself can make better. Maybe there's a hard to solve problem that no one's done it. And you're like, maybe I can work this out. So pay attention to those things. When you're in the engineering world, you're going to notice that there's a lot of things that do need improvement. So maybe that's where you come in and you can take advantage of that. And then if you're an immigrant in the United States, one story that, <laughs> that I forgot to mention is I used to work with this guy who was an electrical engineer, very smart guy. And he was actually running a business in, is in his home country. He was providing security and electrical installations services and he was charging a lot of money what he would do is he would buy equipment here from amazon he would go to his country and charge a lot of money to install camera security systems oh man he was making bank he was making bank sometimes he would even fix up motorcycles and he would send them to his country and sell them there. So ask yourself if you're from another country, if you're an immigrant, or maybe you don't even have to be an immigrant, right? Nowadays, like, can you identify a problem in another country that you can actually help solve? That's another idea. That's really thinking outside the box. And then, of course, also, if you like to talk, if you like to teach, if you like to mentor others, document your projects, if you want to document your life, do YouTube. I think personally is the best platform to be in because you can actually monetize it. And well, there are multiple ways to monetize a YouTube channel. I'm not really going to get into that in this video, but if you like to document projects, if you are someone that is always into engineering, uh, working on, uh, on, on electronics, or maybe you have your own car shop, or maybe you have your own lab. If you like to document the process of doing something, then, maybe you can record it and then put it online and then see maybe who knows maybe somebody hires you and then they ask you to be a consultant they ask you to be a mentor they ask you to be an advisor who knows the opportunities are endless if you like to put yourself out there and of course the main takeaway here guys is that if you're thinking about opening a business if you're thinking about opening a side hustle and proceeding with something don't think of figuring out every single step in the beginning. It's okay to start, get started, execute, and then get going. And then you're gonna figure things out as you keep going. If you haven't watched my video on how to get sued or how not get sued, make sure that you go watch it right here. Take care guys, have a great one, peace.